Hi, this is Duncan from Stadia Source and just a video today on why we need the Stadia Connect urgently. We are now approaching the 5 month mark since the last Stadia Connect. In that time, we've had more details of this PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X was announced, we've had a scattering of confirmed titles for next generation, PlayStation Now and Game Pass continue to improve and add quality titles, xCloud has expanded out with more titles and more people being involved in it and we've had the one we like the best, Stadia has launched. Stadia's launch could be described as rocky but over the last two months things have settled down. Stadia as a platform works for most people. Communication has improved but still requires work. The first Stadia only feature has arrived in Stream Connect and some new titles have arrived onto the service like Borderlands. As we approach the three month mark, several Stadia users have reached a point where they have nothing left to play on the platform, while for others they see this point coming soon. Games are the lifeblood of the system and now the future titles look few and far between. The Stadia game that's shown here illustrates that point. That is 17 games and only three have firm dates. Cyberpunk, while it is coming to Stadia dur during the video, it was said it was coming soon. No date was given and for myself, I think this means it's not coming to Stadia when it launches on the other platforms. The Ubisoft games on the list are interesting. Gods and Monsters and Watch Dogs Legion have been delayed into the next financial year. This means they can come out anywhere between April 2020 to March 2021. For me, this indicates that they may come out as a cross-generation title, so I would think this could be pushing back into the holiday 2020 period. The other Ubisoft titles have no release dates. Could these be held back until the launch of Uplay Plus? Does the delay of the other games push Uplay Plus back on Stadia? I believe it does, as Ubisoft would not have the library and games on Stadia to justify a subscription model. Reading through Stadia communities, a number of people believe that Ubisoft will port the whole Uplay Plus library to Stadia. This would not be a feasible project in the short term as there is a cost involved in porting games across. Many of these games are old and the question if people would play these titles would need to be asked. While there is a number of big titles in the coming soon list, it is missing the very big cornerstone titles from Activision and EA, Call of Duty. EA Sports titles and FIFA and Madden are all notable by their absence. These games are enjoyed by both casual and hardcore gamers alike and not having them is a big worry for Stadia. How do Stadia reduce this worry about games? It is a very simple, to give us a Stadia Connect and give us a look at what is coming. Nintendo, Sony and Xbox can get away without having game updates as games are constantly announced for their platforms. For Stadia, at present, games are not, so connects are vital to give us a peek into what's coming into the future. If the games coming to Stadia are going to be in short supply, then going after the right games becomes vital. Replayable games should be the top of the list, like Civilization VI, which has recently come to consoles. Roguelike or roguelike games would also be a good pickup. These replayable games could also show off the state share functionality to further improve the replayability of these games. I think most of us are expecting a Stadia Connect before the base launch. For me, I would prefer to, and this is not me not being greedy for a change. This is because they could have a lower key one announcing some of the lower titles with a big game or two. But the main purpose of this Connect would be to settle the community down and to announce the date of Stadia Base. The second one would be just before the launch of base and this would be the mission statement for the year ahead. Announce the big titles coming in Stadia, drop a tease or two on what Stadia is working on, be that games or platform wise. Maybe the first uh, hint of the state share games. Connects are the chance to talk to the audience and the fans. In closing, we need a Stadia Connect to get excited for the year in gaming ahead. We have only three games announced for the next five months in Stadia. While I think we're going to get a lot more than that, it does not look good from an optic standpoint. Stadia is my favourite platform to play. I just want the games on the system to play. Are you worried about the game situation? 
What games do you want on the system? Comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.